Math X. Have you ever wondered how stars move, planets move, and everything that surrounds you? Calculus will always be found everywhere. But don't freak out. Calculus is used in different areas of physics and even astronomy. Astronomers use differentiation to study different motions of planets, meteorites, and spaceships. Calculus is the mathematical language that describes the change, whether it is a change in distance or in area. Even race cars use integration to calculate the center of mass, center of gravity, and mass moment of inertia of a sports vehicle in order to improve its velocity and trajectory. Now for our lesson today, we shall be tackling differentiation and integration. Now, did that scare you? Don't worry, we got the people who will make calculus easier than ever before, only here in MathX. Hi, so welcome to the first part. So, differentiation. Differentiation is a process of finding a function that outputs the rate of change of one variable respect with another variable. Now, our problem in order to find our function is here. y equals 4x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 4. Now, since it's division, we need to understand that there are certain rules in differentiation. In this case, we shall use the quotient rule. Take note that there are two parts in this equation, the f of x and the g of x. In the numerator, 4x plus 5 is considered as the f of x, and the 5 as the constant. If we try to get the derivative of this, we must use the power rule. Thus, since it's already 1 in exponent of 4x, we must omit the x in the 4x and also include the constant. Therefore, the derivative of f of x is 4. In the denominator, we should also apply the power rule. x squared has the exponent of 2. Therefore, we must transpose the 2 to the front of x and subtract 1 from the exponent, making it 2x, and don't forget to omit the constant. Therefore, the derivative of x squared plus 4 is 2x. Now, for the main part, um, we already now have our derivatives and quotient rule. So, we must then fill in the quotient rule. So, be careful in filling up um, don't mix up fx and gc to their own derivatives. So after filling it up, the equation is now 4 times x squared uh, plus 4 minus 2x times 4x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 4 squared. So this is where the easy part now starts. All you need to do to find the derivatives um, is to actually just simplify. Just multiply and divide it till no longer possible. So after doing that, the answer will naturally come to negative 4x squared minus 10x plus 16 divided by x squared plus 4 times 2. Wow, imagine how appealing is differentiation. But hold on to your seats. Integrals or integration are much better than that. In this portion, we shall be using trigonometric identities, specifically the Pythagorean identities. Our equation for this video is cot squared times x. Now cot is a part of trigonometry. It means cotangent. The cotangent of an angle is the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the opposite side. So this is where the trigonometric identities will be important, especially since it is found in the Pythagorean triangle. The Pythagorean identity suggests that 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. In our equation, there is cotangent. Therefore, we must substitute it in the equation. Since we already have the equation, the next thing we're gonna do is to get the integrals of the equation. The equation is now integral of negative 1 plus cosecant squared times x dx. Now, we need to apply the sum rule since we are now adding due to the Pythagorean identity. We need to separate the addends and get the individual integrals. We now have the integral of 1 dx and integral of cosecant squared times x dx. The result will be x and negative cotangent x respectively. After getting the integral, all we have to do now is simplify and add a constant. So the answer would be negative x minus tangent times x plus c and that is all for integration innovation creation and application that's what calculus tries to do as previously said change is the only constant in this world 
and calculus, it tries to calculate the change. Stay tuned to MathX, where we try to simplify complexity.